Hi guys, I'm um, super excited to be here today. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are very, very okay. All right, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys two tools that can help you do Facebook ads better. I'm gonna be showing you two tools owned by Facebook that can help you understand how to um, create better ads. So the first one we're gonna be looking at is the Facebook Audience Insight. So we're going to be looking at the Facebook audience insight, what is what it does and what it's used for. Then the second one we're going to be looking at is the Facebook um, ad library. So um, many, many people don't know these things exist. Now, the Facebook ad library is a library where everybody that is creating ads on Facebook, their ads are there. So the good thing about the Facebook ad library is that you can go there and peep on what your competitors are doing what other people are doing what's working and one easy way to know which ad is working and which ad is not working is if the ad has been in the ad library for over some time let's say the ad has been running for like three months let then you are sure that that ad is actually producing results for the person that put it out there so i'm going to show you how to use the facebook ad library and i'm also going to show you how to use um the facebook ad audience insight so let's first of all um look at the audience insights to get there so all you're just gonna do is you could just um google facebook um audience i i have the link but i don't want to use the link i just want to do it the um easy way so that you guys can easily navigate your way to it so just type so the easy way to get to your Facebook audience insight is to go to www.facebook.com forward slash business insights tools and um, you're going to see that. So let's just search this now and um, you can see we have, so we can just click on this one here. So it's going to take us to the audience insights. So once you get to an interface like this, all you're just going to do is click on this go to audience insights and we are here now so this is what the facebook audience insight looks like so you're gonna have insights on two different types of audience number one everyone on facebook number two people connected to your page all the pages you have on your face on your account so if you want to know uh, people um, connected to them about them so you can choose the second one so for this we, we want to be doing ads so i would want to go with this first one so we can see a lot so now this is the rough sketch of everyone on facebook by this insight then as you search by this um left area you can now see further information that you need to see now if you look at this part here so Facebook says that they have 55% of the people on Facebook are women and 45% are men. And the highest age bracket within Facebook is 25 to 34. You can see it here, 25 to 34. That's the, that's the, highest, um, that's the uh, highest age bracket of people on Facebook. Then we also have, there's the, then I think um, next to that is, <clears throat> um, 35 to 44 which is 19 percent so that's that's a breakdown so with this you can know the kind of audience that is on facebook now let's narrow it down to your own physical location so let's say for example i stay in lagos nigeria and i want to look at who the people that are in lagos nigeria and the kind of audience i can find there all right so i just search lagos so now I want to search it based on the location. Now, in Lagos, you could see. So, depending on every anything you need, any information you need, you can you can compare, you can check a selected audience and all that. So you might just want to go through this, play around it, and uh, understand how best you can use it. So you, you can also check based on interest business and entertainment food and drinks whatever so let's say for example um for those of us that have been running facebook ads before now you know the um the detailed targeting area so the detailed targeting area those things you have in mind to use as your detailed targeting object 
um, topics, you can impute them here and check them out. So let's say, for example, uh, I wanted to use, um, let's say, um, self-employed. So something like this now. So this is a search for people within Lagos that are self-employed. Looking at the average of the people, that's if you are comparing it by location. So Ikeja has a um, two, like two percent. Let's go to um, if I'm comparing it based on demographics. So self-employed people within this we have so there are so many things you can just break down the numbers now these numbers are very very important that it's it's going to help you have a very a better understanding of how you can run ads better so i would not want to spend too much time here i've showed you the the tool it's left to you to now go dissect it play around it so that you can understand how best to use it for your own um results all right so the next tool i want to show you this is where i really want to dwell on is the facebook ad library the facebook ad library so just come to um, your, your browser and type in um, facebook.com forward slash ad library and you have and you're going to see it there so facebook.com forward slash ad library ad library is to get this one word together and it's going to bring you to an interface like this and um, it's really really cool so we can now start searching so now the easy way to do this is that you can choose a category of what you want to search for so you can say you want to search for okay so i want to search for all ads so the easy way to do this is to just type in the advertiser's name here. So once you type in the advertiser's name, all related ads he has been doing are going to show up. So let's say, for example, I want to, I want, I want to search. Um, so I want to search. Um, let's say. Um, let me look for a name. Let's say. I'm trying to get a name. I know I know some people that always run good ads. So I'm trying to get one of their names to use here. all right guys so let me use this frank Kearns, um page so once i click on the advertiser and i search they would show me all the ads is running right now so you can see this is active this is active this is active so you can see all this so this guy is active so he has how many ads he has about five ads four four ads that are running right now now i can now peep on what exactly is doing i can just look at the good thing about it is that um the, the ad copy is there the ad copy is there the everything every single thing is doing i can see it i can play his video if i want to i can go if i click on see ad details it's going to open up better for me to look at exactly how he has broken it down so i can use this as a guide i'm not saying you should uh copy what other people are doing but 
it's a very good way to have to get an insight on what you can do when you see other people doing it so that's that's how this this tool works so it's very very wonderful so all you just have to do is to search the advertiser's name so you know the people that are so let me say for example now i i search uh let me say jumia so let me see let me see jumia let me see so i search jumia now now these are all the ads jumia is running right now and i can know exactly how imagine wow they are running a lot a lot of facebook ads right now a lot you can see this is active this is active and it shows you the platforms where the ads are showing up so now they are running this particular ad on facebook instagram the audience network and messenger so it's running on all platforms so they're running this particular ad there so if it was just a facebook ad it's going to show only facebook here if it was just instagram it's going to show only instagram here so right now jumia is doing all these ads right now some of them are retargeting ads some of them are uh, fresh ads to get some um, fresh audience so if these people okay let's look at the dates of the ads now so um this one just came live first of april first of april so let me see okay this one started running since the 17th of march this one started running since the 3rd of march so that's how you know if it had ad an ad is a very very good ad because if it has been running for a long time that means the person has been getting results from it so you might want to model those things and so all you just need to do to make to make good use of this tool is to know the name of your competitor just know the name the name of the advertiser you want to search on come up here search the names you would see exactly what they are doing this helps you especially for those of us that are not very good in copywriting you you really don't know what kind of um graphics to use that would convert you don't know what um kind of videos to use you don't know how to write the write-ups that would make people take action it's best to come to this tool take a look at what other people are doing and not just what other people are doing what successful people have done then you can model that to create your own ad copies so that's how to use the facebook ad library it's a very sweet tool i've used it so many times and it has given me good results and um i would advise you to try to take a good look at it and use it too all right guys so that'll be all for this um section i just wanted to show you guys these two tools the facebook audience insight and the facebook ad library how to use them when you're trying to plan um creating your ads